Belarus inherited a pretty good arsenal from the Soviet era and a respectable defense industry in Europe. The Belarusian army today does not maintain complex or expensive weapon systems in its armed forces. This republic has a small territory, but in return, the climate conditions are not too harsh. There are no mountains, deserts, or tundra areas. With all those advantages, Belarus can build a simpler army without too much expense. Despite limited financial resources, the Belarusian defense industry has achieved some remarkable achievements. To enhance the capabilities of the ground forces, in 2015, an indigenous multi-purpose armor vehicle was developed, the Cayman 4x4. The first vehicles to be put into service are believed to be in 2018. In 2019, the first batch of nine Caymans was delivered to the 103rd Airborne Brigade of the Belarusian Special Operations Forces. It is considered the first indigenous armor vehicle of Belarus. The Cayman is said to be developed based on the Soviet BRDM-2 armor reconnaissance vehicle with modifications and upgrades to suit the modern battlefield. The Cayman has a completely new design and is very close to the design of the German-made Fennec 4x4 reconnaissance vehicle in service with the German and Dutch armies. The vehicle features an unconventional layout with crew cap at forward two compartment at the middle and power plant at the rear. Cayman can accommodate a crew of six who can enter and exit through either the side door or two roof hatches above the driver and passenger seats. A large hatch is also provided in the center of the fighting compartment for firing weapons. The onboard cooling system enables the vehicle to operate at ambient temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius. The forward and rear sections of the hull are installed with cameras offering superior field of view. The vehicle is also installed with an onboard information control system and a built-in navigation system. The armor vehicle measures 6 meters long, 2.82 meters wide, and 2.07 meters high, and has a gross weight of 7 tons. Protection level is rather light and is similar to that of the BRDM-2. Maximum level of protection over the front arc is against 7.62 mm armor piercing rounds. On route protection is against 7.62 mm bone rounds and small caliber artillery fragments. The Cayman is motorized with a diesel engine developing 170 horsepower coupled to a 5 speed manual gearbox. The vehicle can run at a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour and has a maximum cruising range of 1000 km. The vehicle is fully amphibious and propelled in water thanks to two propellers mounted at the rear of the hull. The vehicle can be armed with the range of weapon stations and armament according to the requirements of the customers. The roof of the vehicle can be fitted with a ring mount weapon station, which can be armed with a 7.62mm Klashnikov PKMB medium machine gun, a 12.7mm NSV heavy machine gun, or a 30mm AGS-17 Plamia automatic rail launcher. 
There is also three smoke relay launcher and storage basket on each side of the vehicle. Some Cayman Armor Reconnaissance vehicles were delivered to Côte d'Ivoire in 2018. Côte d'Ivoire became the first known export user of Cayman Armor vehicle.